Hey, this is David, and I want to continue doing some research and show you how you can use a little bit of research to help you out for your real estate. So let's go ahead and dive in. We're going to go back to our tool here, and I want to talk about wholesale. So say you don't know a whole lot about wholesale. I know quite a bit about wholesale. I had some friends that were helpful for me, but we're going to go ahead and suppose that we don't know a whole lot about wholesaling with real estate. So we're going to go ahead and get some help. Now what this is going to do is help us discover what we should talk about in a general sense. And I want to keep it friendly for now because we're going to be talking to clients and investors. Here we go. So we're going to make a pamphlet on what is a real estate wholesaler. I like this. This will be a section of our paper or a paragraph. So we're going to move on from office buildings right now. I'm going to make a level two. No worries. Let's go ahead and do a couple things to make this a level two. It needs to be italicized and it needs to be bold. That is APA level two. And now technical difficulties is a part of the challenge this should just take a minute let's go ahead and let that load up while that loads up we're going to go back to our tool we already know what we want to do here so now we're going to go to bullet point to paragraph and i'm going to create a paragraph friendly is what i would like for now let's look back at our document here Here we go. So that is ready to go. Now this, I would like for this to be bold, sized. That's a level two. And we have some writing there. All right, let's go ahead and look and see what our options are. This is fantastic. I really think this is a good source. A whole server, someone that puts the deal together, or puts it, okay. Let's go ahead, now go to our edit tool. And we're going to take a look at some of these statements and see how much factual information we have. Okay, here's our citation checker. And the internet's much better. I'm at home right now. I'm going to try to crank this out before the kids um, interfere with the recording. So hopefully it's nice and quiet and you just hear me. Okay, put some deal together. Two parties, take it. So it looks like this statement, which is a long statement, mind you, is not going to give us what we need when it comes to a whole cell. So um, let's go ahead and separate parts of it. Let's take out that one and see what we have here. Okay. It looks like there's not a ton of published research that really discusses the idea of wholesale when it comes to the definition. Wait, what, what do we have here? Now we're talking about product. I want to add real estate. We're going to see if we can help the AI just a little bit, get a little bit more specific. Looks like there's something trying to come there. They don't necessarily mention wholesaler. And this might be something that I wouldn't necessarily say it's completely backed with research right now. It doesn't mean it's not. I'm not finding it with a lot of ease right now. So let me go ahead and try to make it a little bit easier. 
first off, I need to take off our wholesaler. And I want to go to real estate wholesale. I want to see what we have. Maybe I can get a little closer to what we're trying to reference. We're getting a little closer. So this is interesting. We're not really getting exactly treats wholesale and reach as a single industry finance insurance. This is a pretty outdated paper. We're looking at over 20 years. So as we look through the research, we're not really seeing a ton here. Let's see. I want to go ahead and see what this is all about. And see if that could help bridge a little bit of what we're trying to say. Now, this is one database. This is a very very powerful database that I rely on. I think it's great. It's been finding everything I need, but um, it may not have everything. So just because it's not here doesn't mean that this information is not true. But if I can't prove it, I usually don't say it. Let's take a look at what it's saying over here. Okay. Now it is talking about intermediaries. But they are referring to real estate agents. So when it comes to the literature, we're not finding a ton right off the back on wholesale or wholesalers not necessarily in this database which is one of my favorite databases i do have a a beautiful database i've gotten from my school so i can check that out let's take a look at this this will be our final final little look and see what we get not much So we're looking at wholesale in a form of um, product versus the intermediary that helps negotiate the deal between buyers and sellers. Okay. So I am going to type in housing market. Let's take another look and see what we have. This is very interesting. We're talking about durable goods and secondary markets. Some of the effects on secondary markets are types of second hand houses. Okay. We are searching. We're spending a good 10 to 15 minutes looking into how wholesale is a part of uh, research with um, real estate and how you can use this lingo with uh, research backing to talk to your clients about this, your investors, your, your sellers, your buyers. Flexible cleaning house proposed to apparel wholesale markets. So we're looking at the market, but we are actually looking for the term of a wholesaler. 
who functions and acts as that intermediary. And we're just not seeing it. We're going to have to do some searching. And again, that does not mean it doesn't exist. It just means that until we have proof, it's a beautiful statement, but I can't use that as fact. I need specifically peer reviewed research. That's going to back it. If I'm going to use it as fact, um, for my clients or for my, um, investors. So let's see what else we have. This information is fantastic. I would like to see research behind this information. And that is going to be the task at hand. I'm not seeing enough, not yet. So when it comes to wholesaling, I'm going to have to do some digging and I will come back with more information for you on what I find with wholesaling, but right away, spending a good 10 minutes looking in and usually in 10 minutes, I can get a good feel for what's out there looking at relevant studies. I'm not seeing enough information about wholesaling. Now, I don't know if the, term is not sufficient enough if I need to use a different synonym. Now there is talk about wholesale trade real estate in this article with the results. So an old article up here, almost 20 years old. See, and these are articles we already saw within the last 10 minutes, and it's not given us exactly what we want, which is information on a wholesaler, what a wholesaler does in real estate. Um, Take a look at this phrase and see if that gives us any help, gets us any closer. There is over um, 300,500 results. So let's give it a, another couple of minutes and then we'll call it a day. Let's see if there's another phrase that can help us. How about this? Now, this doesn't necessarily say wholesaler, but let's be curious. Let's see what we could do to find the information out. I'm very pleased with the internet speed. Looks like things are moving. Okay. Uh, this is talking about stocks. A lot of information about investing, which a lot of times means stock. Which is good. All right. So when we're talking about wholesale, we're going to have to do our due diligence to really get some research behind what wholesale is. Um, I like this phrase. But I know when I type in wholesale, I'm not going to get a lot of information from at least from our database. So I will look into a different database. That'll be a topic for another video. Um, one more time, just in case my eyes are missing something, I would like to throw this up here and give it one more shot. And then we will call it a day.
and we're not seeing a whole lot. So I would like to thank you for watching this video. I'm going to get back to you with more information, but my recommendation when it comes to wholesale with research backing in real estate, hold off on it. Um, give me an opportunity to continue looking, to continue looking yourself, leave a like comment, um, uh, subscribe please. So we can continue this conversation and let's see what we can do to put our hands together. It uh, looks like middleman has been a, a helpful keyword. So let's go ahead and uh, I want to continue looking and doing a little bit of research, but I'm going to let this video go ahead and end and we will together try to figure out how we can find out the truth about uh, middleman. I mean, excuse me, wholesale. So uh, until next time.